everyone. We are going to go on to project number two. This is project number two here. As you can see, this painting has silhouettes also. There are um, the palm branches, the road, uh, the donkey or the colt, and um, Jesus on the, the donkey or the colt. So what we're going to do is take out our canvas, our watercolor paper, or our cardstock paper. If you have a canvas, that is preferred. And uh, we are going to use these uh, three colors. And if you have orange, you can use that as your fourth color also. If not, we know that orange, that to make orange, we mix red and yellow, right? And so we are going to go ahead and use those. This is acrylic paint. And uh, then we have our watercolor paint if you have a watercolor paper, okay? And then if you have cardstock paper, I actually would recommend that you use oil pastels so that you can blend your uh, colors in your background, uh, your yellow and your orange and your red, which we'll talk about in a little bit. So what I want you to do first is pick up your pencil, if you have your pencil, and you are going to draw a curvy line here for your road and if you notice it's it's just it's just a, a about a third up and then we have about three-fourths to two-thirds of empty space and after we're finished doing that we are going to sketch out our um, donkey so what I want you to do is draw an oval for his, his head, and then you're going to draw a larger oval for his body. And then I want you to draw his legs. The legs are going to be a line, a diagonal line going outward, and then a diagonal line going inward and then a triangle for the next, upside down triangle for the next leg, and then a line going out. And then you're gonna draw another one, another line going out, another line going in, and another one here. So it looks like he's walking. Then we're going to draw a tail, upside down triangle, on the oval and then for his ears you're going to draw triangles and then I want we're going to start drawing uh, Jesus you're going to draw a circle and it, this circle is going to be way smaller than the the oval that we drew for the donkey's head because the donkey is going to be uh, larger right bigger after you draw the circle for the head you're going to draw a triangle going down and then lines going out to make it look like he's holding onto the donkey and then you could draw a line going up so maybe he has one arm going up and then one holding on to the donkey and then we could draw hair lines for hair if you'd like after you're done with this part you're going to drop your pencil and we're going to work on the background you're going to use your large paintbrush for the background so pick up your large paintbrush and pour some yellow onto your palette And then after you draw, after you um, get your large paintbrush, you're going to go back and forth here. And you're going to paint the entire background yellow. After you paint the entire background yellow, we are going to work on making our orange so when you are painting your entire background yellow make sure that you're going in one direction because your strokes remember your strokes are going to show up 
when you're all finished. Now, if you get yellow on the donkey, that's okay. Because you remember, we're going to draw, we're going to um, paint that part black for the silhouette. Now you're going to finish up here, finish up, finish up, finish up. Go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. After you're all finished with your yellow, you're going to rinse your paintbrush, dab it on your napkin, and then you're going to get a little bit of red and mix it in with your yellow to make orange. If you have orange, go ahead and use orange, but if not, you're going to make orange with your red and your yellow. Mix it in. And once you've mixed it, you're going to use your orange to start painting the center of your, your background. You go back and forth, back and forth. Now what we're doing here is we're blending our yellow with our orange. And then I'm going to leave this top part yellow. I'm not even going to touch it. You're going to go back and forth and just paint the center orange. Then you're going to get some red and you're going to start doing the bottom red. What I'm going to do is actually leave this center part yellow. That's going to be a little bit brighter around Jesus. Okay. To remind us he is the light of the world. And we're going to go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay. So it, it should look like it's blending. So you have like a sunset look. Now after you're all finished, you're going to rinse your paintbrush and dab it on your napkin and then I'd like for you to start working on the bottom. This is your road. And what I like to do is shape, shape it first with your paintbrush. And you can actually use your detailed brush for this part. If not, you're going to use just the tip of your large paintbrush. Okay, and it doesn't need to be a straight line because it could be a, it's just like a dirt road, right? So you're gonna go back and forth, back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. Okay, when we're all done, we are going to rinse our paintbrush, dab it on your napkin, and leave it there. Now, you're going to switch paintbrushes. You'll grab your small paintbrush and then pour some black onto your palette if you need more. And you're going to dip your small paintbrush in your uh, black paint. And then I want you to go ahead and start painting the inside of your donkey. Use your small paintbrush because this is really tiny. Okay, so you draw his ears. And then his legs. Okay. And then his tail. And then you're going to draw the face, right? So it's a lot smaller than the donkeys. Okay, and 
that's about it for that part. After you're all finished with this part, you're going to allow your background to dry. And after it's dry, you're going to work on the palm branches. So if you notice, there are about, I have four, oop, I have, let's bring this up a little bit. I have four palm branches going inward and then four palm branches going inward on this side. So on each side, there's four. So we're going to follow that pattern on this one. For your palm branches, all you're going to do when you start off is you're going to start off by painting the center of it, which is a line. So there's one line. And to make sure that we have a pattern, I'm going to do the same thing on this side. So I've got a line here and a line here. And then we're going to draw another line here. That's another branch. Another line here. That's another branch. And then we're going to do another little one. Another little one. And then we've got one up here and one up here. Okay. Now, for the palm branches, for the leaves going out, you're going to, and I know that we know how to do this because we practice line drawing in the other projects, you're going to draw lines going up, 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 and they're going to be like feathery lines. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. Up, 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 up. So there's one. And then you're going to do the same thing here. Up, 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 up. So do you see how there's they start to look like feathers, but they're not feathers, they're branches. So you're going up, 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 up. We're gonna go up, 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 up. And then the other side, up, 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 up. And then up, 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 other side, up, 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 up. And then up, 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 up. And then other side, up, 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 up. Okay, we're gonna go up, 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 and then up, 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 up. Make sure we have our center here. Okay, so now we've got four on each side. And we should be all finished. So I'll show you the big one so that you're able to see it. Make sure that it, it should look sort of like that. Okay? So it's just a smaller version. So please send me your artwork. I would love to see it. Uh, and let me know what you learned uh, in the lesson and then also in your artwork. Remember, in the lesson, we learned about Palm Sunday. And if you haven't uh, checked out the video about, with the story about uh, Palm Sunday, please go ahead and listen to that. So we learned about Palm Sunday. We learned about um, Jesus uh, coming into the world to, to save us. He came into the world to to die on the cross for, for us sinners. And uh, that is a, a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, act that he has done for us. And um, on Palm Sunday, people recognized him as uh, the king, uh, but they didn't know that he he, he uh, was going to save him in the way that he did, which was uh, through his death on the cross and then his uh, resurrection uh, from from the grave, which we're going to look forward to 
uh, next week. So please go ahead and also share your artwork with someone. Tell them what you learned in the story and then also what you learned about art. You learned about silhouettes and you learn how to blend your colors. Uh, and so please share it with them and maybe they'll be inspired to, to uh, do the same piece that you did. And send it to my email if you can. All right. Have a great rest of your day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.